I've been working as a data analyst for six months and here's my interview experience. Hey, what's up everyone? If you're new here, my name is Akin. Like I said, I'm a data analyst working at a healthcare analytics company. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how two of my interviews went before I got this job offer. When I was applying and going through the interview process, I was still working at a big four firm in i 2 Edit, So I wasn't able to prepare full time because I was actually working a lot. Anyways, in four months, I went through about 10 interviews and got rejected from most of them but I'm not gonna talk about all of those. In this video, I only wanna focus on my last two interviews. I was rejected from the first and the second one I got the job offer. All right, let's start with the first company. This was a mid-sized healthcare company that focuses on provider search and scheduling solutions. The position I applied to was data quality analyst. I was very excited about joining this team because I met with the team, which I'm gonna talk about in a sec, and I felt like I resonated with them a lot. This was by far the longest interview process I had, and here's the structure. Like most interviews, the first one was with the recruiter. On that call, we talked about my background, the companies and the team's culture, and the logistics of the role. Even though this is not the real interview, it's very important because it's the first step. Recruiters speak to about 25 other candidates who apply to the same role. And if they don't like you, mostly they will reject you and you won't even get a chance to speak to the hiring manager. Shortly after the call, I got an email from her about the dates and the time slots. This was gonna be the first round interview with the hiring manager. The hiring manager was also the manager of the whole team. He was young and seemed like a nice person. I answered questions like, tell me about yourself, walk me through your resume, why do you want this role? But it was more of a casual conversation. He was interested in my previous experience and what kind of work I did at the big four firm. So I talked about my previous role. It was still my current role at that point because I hadn't quit my job yet. He was specifically curious about my leadership experience in that role and at college in general. So one thing I noticed about any job interview is that they wanna know if you have leadership skills or if you're willing to take initiative. After about 25 minutes, we had five minutes left and it was my turn to ask questions. I don't remember the first question I asked, but my last question was, what exactly do you do as a data quality analyst manager? I knew the job description and the responsibilities, but it was too broad and I wanted to hear from him. He did a very good job of explaining the role and what they do as a team. And he even showed me some of their work obviously without showing any confidential info. Now I was more interested in the role and was very excited because I wasn't expecting him to share his screen and walk me through what they do. Within a couple of days, I received an email with a dataset and a PDF file explaining the task and what the next steps will look like for me. I had to analyze the data according to the questions they sent in the PDF file and I had 30 minutes to present my findings to seven people, the whole team. At that time, I was going to the office three days a week so I asked if I could do the presentation on Monday or Friday, the days I was working from home. After working on the dataset for a couple of days and trying to put together a slide with my findings, I had a presentation scheduled for Monday afternoon. Before I started my presentation, I had a chance to meet and talk to the team members who I really enjoyed speaking with. They were all young, around my age, and seemed to be passionate about what they do, and I felt like it would be a joy to work with them. Obviously, you can't truly know unless you start working with someone, but I had a positive first impression and I'm sure they did as well. I think the presentation went okay. I talked about everything I wanted to talk about, but I wasn't sure what kind of presentation they wanted. So I mixed in the technical and the businessy parts in one presentation. I presented my findings with visualizations and with data, but I also showed them the queries that I wrote to get those findings because I wanted them to see that I used SQL to answer those questions. I'm not sure if this was a good thing or not, but I think overall the presentation went well. Some of the team members asked two questions that I didn't have any issues answering. Now that the hard part was over, I had a casual Q&A sessions with two team members back to back. This was for us to get to know each other and to get a better feel of what it would be like to work together. They were both casual and friendly conversations and I was able to get a sense of what their typical day looks like. I really wanted to get an offer from this company because this was the one that excited me the most in terms of working there. I waited for about a week to find out the team's decision 
I emailed the recruiter to get an answer and she said she was gonna get back to me in a couple of days. Then I got the bad news from her. She said I wasn't offered the role because they had another candidate who was a better fit. I was bummed out because I really thought I was gonna get the offer and I was excited. But I said it is what it is and kept applying to other jobs. At the end of the day, it is what it is. <laughs> The other interview I want to talk about, the company I'm working at now, was fairly straightforward. And here was the structure of that interview. Just like the previous one, the first step was a call with the recruiter. Again, this was for the logistics like the salary, benefits, and the upcoming interview process. I was surprised that this wasn't going to be like multiple interviews. Only one interview, but for an hour with hiring manager, project manager, senior, and a director, all at the same time. Thank you, no pressure. A couple of days later, my interview was confirmed. I was kind of nervous because I had another panel interview before and it didn't go so well, and I didn't want that to happen again. From the start, I could tell these people were a lot friendlier than the people at the other panel interview. Like most interviews, this started as a casual conversation, then I talked about my background. I knew they looked at my resume, so I did avoid listing what's on my resume line by line. The questions they asked after were all follow-ups to what I said in my previous answer, so it's important to know what exactly you're talking about, and you should always accept follow-up questions. They were mostly interested in my previous role. They wanted to know what exactly I was doing as an IT auditor, which is always hard to explain. They asked me what steps I was taking when I got stuck on a task at work. They didn't want to hear answers like, when I couldn't figure out something, I asked my manager, or I collaborated with my team members. While those are okay and they're needed too, people actually want to see that you're able to solve problems on your own, or at least try your best before looking for help. After talking about my past experience, my leadership and my project management skills, they were curious about my technical knowledge. I was actually surprised that they didn't have any proper technical interview, but they wanted me to walk them through one of the personal projects I worked on, and they asked some technical questions there. I'm not sure if I showed them my queries and dashboards I built, but I did talk about them and answered some technical questions like the functions, the environment and the databases I used. I think the interview went well and I liked the team too. One week after the interview, I got a call and was offered the position. I wasn't really satisfied with the salary, so I actually negotiated, which took about two or three days to get an answer, and they accepted my counter offer. I'm gonna talk about how I negotiated my salary and how to go about negotiating in a later video, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, you can watch my How I Became a Data Analyst video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.